But I remember asking him before I got started in the union, I said, what advice would you give me? And he said, listen to your apprentices. Ask them, hey, if you were doing this, how would you do it? Mm -hmm. I just kind of looked at him funny. I'm like, yeah, but, but I'm the plumber. He says, yeah, but they're learning new ways. And they're learning ways that maybe you're not learning. Tradesmen built America. Not policymakers or desk jockeys, but hardworking, blue-collared men and women. Join me, Roger Wakefield, on conversations with some of the nation's most successful skilled laborers. This is The Trade Talks. So, Rachel, number one, welcome to the show. I'm glad to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. This is going to be fun. So tell me about, first of all, about the contest you won. I, l- I love the way you smiled when I said that. <laughs> um, I'm still in disbelief, really, even being here. Um, only being in plumbing for two years, I n- never thought that I would have the opportunities that I've been just handed to you know, so I'm, I'm very excited. I, I can't believe that I won even first place. So I'm. First of all, I don't think it was just handed to you. Uh, I think you're earning things Mm -hmm. and there's a big difference in that. And uh, I want everybody to understand that, you know, it's not like you just walked in, showed up at work when they're like, Oh, look, we're going to give you a job. And then, Oh, look, we're going to make you what, what is the title that you want? So, that I want? Uh-huh. Or the that, contest. Okay. Um, so, I am a plumbing tech now uh, for residential, and I have my backflow licensing um, for testing and repairs. I love that. Yep. Now, the contest, though. Mm-hmm. And who ran the contest? Mm-hmm. No, who ran it? I'm asking. Oh, okay. Um, the contest that you won, why you're here. Oh, okay. Uh, Ferguson and Milwaukee had a contest um, for women in the trades. And a uh, short little biography you kind of fill out, telling uh, about yourself, how you got started, um, obstacles you've overcame, uh, been faced with, uh, and Milwaukee gives tool prizes out first, second, and third place um, for whoever whoever they choose. I love so, that. Yeah. So as first place, what mm-hmm. did you get? If they got tool prizes, what did you get? So um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm receiving yet, but uh, they said it's $3,000 in Milwaukee tools. So Gotta love that. Very excited. <laughs> and especially as, as someone with two years in the trade. Exactly. A yeah. lot of people don't save up money to buy tools like they should. Yeah. It's hard to do when you're first starting out. Yeah. So, in, and you're from North Carolina. Yes. So, what is the licensing like in North Carolina? Because you said you're a... Backflow. Mm-hmm. backflow. You've, you've got your backflow certification. Yes. Um, so, basically, it's like a week-long class that you have to take. And at the end of it, they have a book portion, and then they have a hands-on portion that you have to pass. Test it, figure out what phase is wrong, and tell them and let them know. (laughs) So what about your plumbing license? What is the plumbing license like in North Carolina? So I do not currently have my plumbing license. Um, I work under uh, my boss's plumbing license. Uh, So being a plumbing tech, I can still go do certain jobs that don't require an actual license. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Well, good for you. Thank you. So l- l- let's start off. Why did you pick plumbing? So the reason why I picked plumbing was I, growing up, my dad was a plumber. He uh, did leak detection, drain cleaning, uh and back then, I hated going on jobs with him. <laughs> did not want to pay attention. Too, so I get it. Did I get not want to pay attention to him whatsoever. Um, I wish I did, because 
you know, I, I'd be doing so much better now. But, you know, back then, nine years old, you know, cleaning out grease traps with my dad, Doesn't you know, sound like crying, a yes. crying, yes, I believe you it. know, he's like, come on, you, you got it. You're fine. You know, but, um, Hey, don't feel bad. There's grown plumbers today that still cry <laughs> cleaning out yeah. grease traps. Yeah. So, um, you know, as far as starting plumbing, I, I was at a spot. I was a stay at home mom for 10 years and, my girls were going to school, and I was like, I have got to do something. Um, me, being the age I was, without, you know, really any college, you know, credits or anything like that, I, I was that. like, what in the world? I was talking to my parents, and my dad was like, try plumbing. You know? <laughs> and, uh, um, and you're like, oh, God, I, no. Yeah, so then... I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, and I Googled women in the plumbing trade, and there wasn't that many, and he was like, you would be awesome at it. You're not sitting at a desk. You're out doing, you know, hands-on, you, you know, and I was like, you're right. I'm, I'm definitely going to try it and see see how it goes, and I called so many places. They were like, no, we don't offer any training. We don't offer any schooling. Um, and I called the place I work for now. And Jimmy's Plumbing. Jimmy's Plumbing, yes. And uh, the secretary was like, I'm sorry, but we're looking for people with two or more years experience. They want that license. They want the, yeah. they want somebody, yeah. they want a revenue generating person immediately. Exactly. So I was like, okay, well have a good day. Well, an hour later she calls me back. She's like the owner, Tim wants to talk with you. Is there any way you can come back? I said, yes. And I was there as soon as I got there, like smile from ear to ear, you know, and he said, um, I have, I, I teach a class at a close community college and would love to have you in the class. So good. And so I was just in awe. Finally, somebody's, you know, giving me a chance to at least try it, you know. Now, at the time, is your dad still in plumbing or was he then? Uh Pretty much retired. Good for you him. You know, just good. He a, a lot of plumbers can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. and he's tra and he's retired and traveling. He yeah. did, he did good then. Yeah. Ask him. Said, Daddy, what can I learn from you? What should I be doing? Because how old's your dad? Uh, he is sixty three. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Just four years older than me. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to the point I could probably retire if I wanted to, but I know a lot of plumbers that can't retire. Mm -hmm. I know a yeah. lot of plumbers that or 70, 74 years old, they're still working. They're yeah. like, look, I this, this is my income. I yeah. can't stop. So, dude, talk to your dad about it and say, Dad, look, if I wanted to retire at 60 mm -hmm. or 50 or something like that, mm -hmm. what should I be doing right now? And talk to him because he's he's done good. So, Dad, congratulations. That, that really is a good deal. You should be proud of that. Very. Good. So, I like this. That's how you find your first job. Why not just call dad and say, hey, dad, get me a job where you're at? So he's always uh, pretty much worked for himself. Hated working for other people. <laughs> um, you know, so me going to him, I, I wanted a more, uh, I guess you could say, commercial job where – there's more advertising. He doesn't advertise. He's semi-retired. He barely takes any calls. Okay, Rachel, know? that's a good thing, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I didn't want to, you know, basically have him out there training me when... It's hard. He's, yeah. My, my son worked with me. You, you met Randy. Yeah. Uh, Henry. Mm -hmm. I, I call, he will always be Randy to me. But... You know, I remember, got it at the age of 13, we, we were, I gave him a shovel, said, hey, I need a hole here. I'm going to go buy some materials. 
come back and there's like a hole four feet deep. Now, I didn't have a sewer camera. I didn't have a locator. I didn't have anything. Mm-hmm. We were just kind of guessing where it was, and it wasn't there. Yeah. And I said, you know what? We're going to have to dig over here. And it's like, okay. Starts filling that one back in. And, you know, he learned hard work. He learned what yeah. it looked like. And it's a good thing because he's not afraid of it. Exactly. So I do. I, I love that. And the fact that your dad works for himself gives you, hopefully, a mindset of, look, one day I could work for myself. Oh, yeah. You know, not saying it'll happen. And, you know, you may say, look, I'm going to take over Jimmy's plumbing instead. <laughs> okay. That happens, too. And, yeah. and, it, and it does. Yeah. So we all have obstacles to go over when we first get in the trades. Everybody asks me all the time, look, what kind of experience do I have to have? Well, mm-hmm. most people have, z- have none. Yeah. Zero. So that part is difficult itself. But you're a female. I, I just, I'm going to point that out. Not sure you know that. Not sure everybody else knows yeah. that. There's not a lot of females in the, in the trades. Nope. How many females work at your plumbing company as plumbers? None. Uh, one. One. Well, yeah, okay. other than Let's me. Let's make sure. That's right. <laughs> other that's than right. Me. But, but yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. And you said that sometimes you'll have to go, you do mainly residential. Yes. But sometimes you'll go out to the commercial jobs to help them if, if they need help, if yeah. they don't have calls, different reasons, mm-hmm. wh- whatever. How many female tradespeople are on these jobs? I don't see any other than myself. Isn't that sad? <laughs> I mean, do yeah. you not? I mean, you've been in it two years now. Yeah. Is this a good career choice for you? Most definitely. Would I mean, if you know what you knew right now, w- would you do it again? Yes. Quicker? Yes. Would you go back and listen to Daddy? <laughs> yes, I would. Daddy, did you? Uh, hey, she said this recorded, so, yeah. so save it and play it back for her. Yeah. I try to tell people all the time, and I say people, mm-hmm. not just men, not just boys, yeah. women, girls. Have you thought about a career in the trades? They're like, oh, my God, no. I've got two granddaughters, like 18 and 21. And they're like, yeah, uh uh-uh. I'm like, do y'all know how good of a life you can have in the trades? Yeah. So you had obstacles. Tell me me about the obstacles, not about getting into plumbing, but about being a female getting into plumbing. How were you accepted in the very beginning? I I wouldn't say that that I was accepted by very few. Okay. Um, And when I say accepted, it was accepted to my face and not around the other guys, you know. It was like nobody, they didn't want other people to know they were being nice to me and accepting me. Right. But they were still somewhat nice to me. Um, Cordial. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then some people completely refused to work with me <laughs> cause, m- because of me just being a female. That's I, the only reason. I had a friend I, I interviewed in one of my videos, and he was a service manager at one of the companies around here. Mm-hmm. And they had hired a female. And, and he's like me. Look, the more women we can get in the trades, the better we're doing. Yeah. So he hired this female. And one of the plumbers, uh, one of his top plumbers, came up and said, uh, she's not riding with me. And he said, how come? He said, my wife would have a hard time with that. So well, then you need to go home and spend time with your wife because she's gonna, we're going to put her with the people that she can learn from, and, and you'd be a good trainer for her. And the guy got upset. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, at the end of the day, there's this thing called equality. Uh, I, I don't know that it's made it quite into the trades yet. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you still have problems with guys or? Yes. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, at the same business, like, you know, my thing is your wife wouldn't have a problem with me if you were doing the right things at home yeah. with your wife. Yeah. So that's not my problem. That's his problem. And if he has a problem working with me, mm-hmm. It's just going to make him look that much worse when, you know, we're out on jobs or out, you know, working in the field. It's just going to make him look bad. Now, you're married. Yeah. To a plumber. Yeah. A big plumber. Mm -hmm. 
Nice guy. Great. Does it bother him that people don't treat you right? Um, it does. And he's been very, very supportive. Um, some days I'll be like, I don't know why I'm even doing this, you know? And he takes me back and he's like, you know why you did this. I know why you're doing it. You're doing good things. Okay. What we talked a while ago about Paige the Plumber. Young lady, I mean young lady, writing a book about ladies becoming plumbers. You're doing it. Isn't that cool? Amazing. <laughs> Especially because, sorry. You're, you're good. <laughs> um, I have three daughters. One thing starting out, I wanted to show them what they could do, how far they can go. Like, you're so strong. You can do anything you want. You don't necessarily have to go to college. I love that. I'm, I'm fine with that. I didn't go to college, you know. Um, my dad didn't go to college. I didn't go to college. <laughs> you know. Um, they, they'd have kicked me out. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> I mean, all the young girls, you know, young boys need to know the trades is where it's at. Simple as that. I love the way you put it because <laughs> that, that, is, that is the simple brass tacks, the, the, the nuts and bolts of it right there. The trades is where it's at. Uh, you don't have to go to college to make a good living. No. Nope. So, if you were in front of a room full, and I'm going to say girls, mm -hmm. if you walked into uh, a middle school, a high school, and you walked in and, I don't know, you, you got your tool bag over your shoulder, you're dirty, you got your hard hat on, you got your work boots on, you've been in a mud hole all day, and they say, hey, come talk to this gr group of girls. Mm. What would you tell them? You know, it's funny you say that because I have actually done work in schools, middle schools, high schools, walk in there with my boots on, my work clothes on, you know, and they're like, oh, my gosh. You hear them talking. Oh, my gosh. This so girl plumber. I know. And I look at them and I'm like, you can do anything you want, no matter what it is, male or, you know, female, you can do it. This trade isn't just for men. You know, welding, plumbing, electrician work, anything, you know. And so basically just trying to get the point across to so many young women that there's so many opportunities that they don't they don't realize are out there for them. I like that. I like that. What could hold a woman back from getting in the trades? Is there anything? Is there anything you're like, I just can't do that? No. I love that. I mean, honestly, starting out, um, after, I, after I took the plumbing class that my boss provided, I was just so excited to just get out into a truck and start learning, right. you know? So, honestly, there's – people talk about the bad jobs, the dirty jobs and stuff like they, that. They happen. It's not that bad. It's though. not. I know. It really isn't. It's not any, and that's what I tell people. You know, I have guys at like uh, stores or whatever. I'll be getting parts, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, plumbing." Well, it really isn't that bad, <laughs> you know. So it's not like you know. I think that truthfully, I think when when people think of plumbers, they picture a toilet stopped up. <laughs> 
And, and look, I, I've seen this toilet. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. It's, this is, and I hate to say it, one of the only jobs I ever refused to do. It was after I first got started in service. And it's a toilet that was, I mean, overpiled because they just kept using it. Yeah. And kept using it. Oh, wow. The, the trash can was full of wipes because it, you couldn't throw them in a the toilet. It was overflowing. And I think that people, when they picture plumbers, they picture that toilet and some plumber there with both his hands in it, smiling like, hey, it's a beautiful day. That is not what plumbing is, is it? You know, you say that, and yes, like, I honestly think people, like, that's what people think. Yeah. Um, And it's not like that at all. I've never. I've never <laughs> had know? a day like that. It's it's not like that at all, but, um, you know, jobs like that, I do try to put my gloves on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like the, like the, the calf gloves, you know, yeah, that come up to yeah. the shoulders. I've, I've got a mono shield out there, you know, the, the goggles with the face it, shield. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, can I get a Tyvek suit here? <laughs> we, we need class four protection or something. Yeah. I love that. What makes you want to be a great plumber? Um, the fact that... I just want to show my daughters and myself, my dad, you know, what I'm capable of because I'm not done. Love it. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That is good. How do you get better? Pay attention, you know, uh, just try to, try to, Focus in just, you know, put all of your attention in plumbing. My my hardest thing was that nobody other other than my boss wanted to train me. You know, all the all the guys that have been at my job for years, they don't want to train a girl. You know, even still, um, it's Is it gotten getting better? better. Good, good. But still, you know, the the training aspect, you really have to pay attention because they're, I mean, as far as my situation, they're not going to tell me how to do it. They're going to do it, and I'm going to have to watch exactly how they do it if I want to remember it and get better. So i I'm on a lot of plumbing pages on Facebook, other social medias. Uh, I try looking at the jobs, reading the comments about, you know, how they fixed it or what they did or what's wrong with it to gain my knowledge in plumbing. So that's the only way you're going to get better. I love that. You know, the, the neat thing is, and... And let me start off, the, the, the bad thing about most plumbers. Mm -hmm. And think about the plumbers you've worked around in the past, not necessarily where you're at, but yeah. think about all the plumbers you've ever worked with. Mm -hmm. And this is something I, I try to get into plumbers' heads. We get in the trade to become a plumber. Once we get that license, most plumbers just stop. They're like, okay, I'm a, I'm a plumber now. Yeah. They don't ever learn anything new. Yeah. Do you ever see that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, is <laughs> my dad's semi-retired and not really picking up any jobs. But, you know, he's still learning stuff. And he tells me, you wouldn't believe what I learned today. I know. You know? He has told me from the very beginning, you will never stop learning. There's always going to be new stuff. So, always. Some, some people do, though. And, mm -hmm. and what I mean by this, we get in the trade to become a plumber. Once we get that license, we are. We're, we're, I've got a license in my pocket that says I'm a professional plumber. Yeah. A lot of plumbers will stop learning. Me, I started learning med gas, started learning backflows, 
started learning WSPS, Water Supply Protection Specialist, mm -hmm. Multipurpose Residential Fire Protection. My master's, the thing that I needed for that, water pipe sizing. Drain fixture units, just, I mean, I... And the bad thing is, it wasn't until I got in the union that I really thought, I want to learn more. Yeah. So one thing I try to tell people about all the time is, look, never stop learning. And, and I tell this to apprentices, people just getting in the trades. Understand right now, you need to never stop learning because there's new tools, new materials, new equipment, new technology every day. All the time. I mean, really, it's the truth. You'll never stop learning. I remember when I first opened my company, I'm an old school plumber. I'm used to copper everywhere. And I knew that I was going over to chip up this kitchen because I was installing an island sink. Mm -hmm. So I go to chipping it up and all this, and I start uncovering everything. It's all PEX. I've got nothing but copper with me. I'm like, how, how, do, how do I run these water lines? Yeah. So it, it's the world changes. Yeah. And the neat thing is... If anybody wants to be amazing in their industry, I mean, be a thought leader, one of the top people, if they'll get up every morning and study for 30 minutes to an hour about their trade, you can read magazines. Uh, there, there's so many great trades magazines out there. You can get up and look through those digitally or, or in print. Mm -hmm. But you can study your, your craft, your trade, 30 minutes to an hour every day. And in a year or two, you're going to know more than anybody in your industry. Yeah. Because nobody does it. Nobody yeah. wants to keep learning and growing. That's actually one of the first things that I did when I started plumbing. The first week uh, that I was going to the class, I actually signed up for subscriptions for every single one of the plumbing you bet. magazines. You bet. Plumber, yeah. pumper. I mean, yeah. uh, there's a ton of them yeah. out there. Uh, I, I love I love going to the trade shows and seeing their booths because they've got so many back and they got some great people. So yeah. it, it is it's neat what everybody's doing for this industry. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Rachel, that you've learned as an apprentice that you will keep with you? What, what, what is one of the most important things you learned as an apprentice? Let's start there. I would have to say the most important thing is don't don't say oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> when when you have another whether it be another plumber, your bosses, whoever and they're showing you something, don't say oh I know how to do it. Cuz you you may not know a better way of doing it. They might be showing you a better way of doing it, and you're just kind of blocking blocking that off, closed minded. You you definitely have to be open minded, and whenever anybody wants to tell you or show you something, take it in. I like that because when I first got into the union. The person who got me into the union, I asked him just about the same thing. I said, look, what, what advice would you give me? Because I had been open shop for 17 years. Mm -hmm. Already had my license. Already had my med gas license. Uh, or did I? No, I didn't have my med gas license. Because I got that right after I got in the union. Then I got my master's. Then I got my master's for, for all those endorsements. But I remember asking him before I got started in the union, I said, what advice would you give me? And he said, listen to your apprentices. Ask them, hey, if you were doing this, how would you do it? Mm -hmm. And I just kind of looked at him funny. I'm like, yeah, but, but I'm the plumber. He says, yeah, but they're learning new ways. Mm -hmm. And they're learning ways that maybe you're not learning. And I did. I man, when I'd get to a deal, I'd look at something and look at how I'd do it. And then I'd holler at one of the apprentices with me and say, hey, we're going from here to here. How would you do it? And 
you know, every now and then you get something a little different. It's like, wow, you know what? I like that. Yeah. And it's just, we all look at the world different. So the opportunities to learn new things are, are amazing. Endless. That, that, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a good way to look at it. Yeah. What's your future look like? I definitely would love to get my plumbing license. I know I'm not ready for it yet. There's only, I think I looked it up for North Carolina, only 14% of people that take the test actually pass. So I have a lot more to learn. I have a lot more to just instill before I get to that point. Um, And I just want to have fun and Every day I go to work, I have fun, and I love it. Isn't it crazy? So, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. You're a plumber, and you go to work and have fun? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, as a, as a matter of fact, we do. So what's the licensing like? How many hours do you have to have in North Carolina to take your plumbing exam? Is, is there a set number of hours? So I'm not, I'm not exactly sure on the amount of hours. I know it has to be uh, four years and I'm not sure if that's with added hours, but I know it's definitely four years. So y'all get registered as an apprentice. They start tracking your hours. Same top yeah. thing we do. Yeah, basically. Good. Yeah. So that's kind of like the journeyman exam. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got to have 8,000 hours, mm-hmm. which so it's, it's probably about the same, which is good. I would tell you, I teach people to study the UPC study guide. And I show them how to do it. If you get that book and, and watch the video that I did, it makes it easy. You're literally reading it like a book. Yeah. And that knowledge just sticks with you. Uh, for some reason, the practical part, I think you're going to get pretty good. Thank you. I think you're going to get pretty good. And, and the good thing is I think you've got people around you that care enough about you to show you and help you and teach you, you know, between your husband, your dad, your, your employer that believes in education. Definitely. I mean, he, um, my boss actually has classes on the weekends for my coworkers and I. Um, he teaches codes, you know, uh, water heaters, just all, all kinds of different stuff. You know, if anybody wants to learn, more than welcome to go to the shop on Saturdays and he'll teach you whatever, I like whatever that. you want to know. I like that. And is that Jimmy? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, Jimmy's his father. Um, the two owners of the company I work for are Tim and Charlie Martin. Cool. They're brothers. Cool. Well, Tim and Charlie, sounds like y'all are doing great things. Uh, yes. that, that's It's neat to hear that there are people out there like that. They're like, look, hey, y'all want to come in? We'll help you learn. Yeah. I think that's really neat. Yeah. So one more question. The day you walked out of your house, the first day, to go into a trades shop, if you could go back and talk to that Rachel now, if you could go back and be there when she walks out the door the first day, what would you tell her? I would definitely say, don't forget the reason why you're doing this. Don't forget it. No matter how hard or who gives you trouble, don't forget why you're doing this. Is it just trouble because you're a woman? Um, I know I said last question. But. I mean, honestly... Pretty much. Unfortunately, I hate, I hate even saying that because I'm, you know, I don't know. I, it just seems like even, even jobs I go out to, customers will be like, oh, where's the plumber? Right. When's the plumber coming? What are you talking about? Right. Like, so immediately it just kind of 
makes it negative instead of some of the jobs I go out to. Oh, my gosh. We're so excited to see a woman plumber come out to our house. You know, so it's I try to ignore, you know, all the negative stuff, you know, but it's hard when you're trying to let the younger generation know, girls, come on, this is this is great, you know, and they're like, no way, all these guys are talking all this mess on online, and we're not not even going to try it, so it, you just, I think the biggest thing for me is I have thick skin. You've got to got to have thick skin to do this. That's for sure. Number one, so. you, you've got you've got to have thick skin to be a plumber. Period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then to be a female plumber on top yeah. of it, it's like stay strong. You know, just stay strong. And the I think the more you feed into people's negative comments, the more negative it'll be. Right. So. You just got to stick through it. I like that. Do you love your job? I love it. I really do. Isn't it I mean, crazy? You've got to put up with all that crap. And I'm not talking the plumbing in. Yeah. Yeah. And you're still like, I love my job. I do. It's a neat thing. Yeah. Where can people find you on Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is Rachel Goins one, uh, more than likely that'll change, but that's fine. You can for change now them. it's <laughs> Rachel Goins one. I like that. Mm-hmm. You're doing good things. Thank uh, you. I am so happy that, you know, Ferguson and Milwaukee made this happen. Extremely where, grateful. I am really What's, and it's neat to see just the things that they're doing for plumbing, for the communities, for women in plumbing. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of lady plumbers mm-hmm. and see them at trade shows and talk to them and bring them in here and interview them and, and do different things. The cool thing about it is, you know, the, the attitude and, and, the, and the, the thick skin, like, look, I'm doing this. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me if, if, if your wife won't let you ride with a female apprentice, get a new wife or, or straighten <laughs> stuff out. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, seriously, yeah. it's like, dude, that's your problem. Not her problem, not the female's problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be telling him, okay, then you know what? You drive your car, I'll drive the company truck, meet you there, and yeah. I'll tell them why you won't ride in the truck with me. Yeah. Because your wife can't handle it. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Oh, well. I love the fact that you want to go above and beyond. You want to, number one, show your daughters. Yeah. Number two, show your daddy. Mm -hmm. Number two, show your husband. Look, I can do this. Yeah. Most definitely. Rachel, it has been an honor to have you on here. I I do. I, I I really, I love the attitude. Thank you. I love the, look, I'm not going to quit. Um, don't ever give up. It, it is tough. It, it's tough as a guy. Yeah. Because in the beginning, you work with a lot of plumbers that, that treat you like crap, and they don't want to have anything to do with you, and they're like, look, just go grab my tools and carry them around. Mm-hmm. Go dig a hole. Go do this. I think your attitude is phenomenal, Thank and you. I think that's going to help you get to some wonderful places. So really, I want to say thank you to Milwaukee and Ferguson. Look, not sponsors of this show, but I just want to say, wow, y'all found a good one here. I think y'all did really, really good. And you, congratulations on winning. Thank you. Number one. Yes. (laughs) Congratulations on that. Thank you. And I definitely hope you stay in touch and I get to find out how your career goes. Definitely. All right. Thank you. And y'all have a great day.